Okay, it's not going to be a real fancy video, but you're not looking for fancy, you're looking for what works. So, uh, I'm a former quarterback, and grip was so important to me with the footballs. And um, so, you know, we always had equipment people that would uh, do their own thing, but I kind of like... I kind of like to go straight to the source, which would be you if you're a quarterback or your quarterback's dad or whatever, what you like and what works. So I ne you necessarily can't trust an equipment manager to know what's perfect, you know. Now, they'd have to talk to the quarterback a lot, be like, no, this is great, this is great. I'm telling you, what, what I just did with this, GSTs, Wilson GSTs, um, pretty much brand new. Boy, the grip is amazing. We actually just had rain here. So I'm rolling it around uh, with some wet ball. The grip almost improves with when it gets wet, which I've never experienced throwing a, a football <clears throat> when the grip actually gets better when it gets wet. Which all right, so what you see here is all you need uh, really to achieve that perfect grip. So this is actually the Pee Wee Wilson GST. These are real leather balls, so... If you're trying to use this on a composite ball or whatever, this isn't for you. But these are the real, real deal. They're uh, they're they're the exact same as the uh, high school and all that stuff, except they're just smaller. Uh, so you can see this one. I'm finished with this one. You kind of see it's a little bit darker, um, but it's not like the crazy dark brown like uh, like almost all these other videos you'll watch, like the NFL balls, which which is fine. Not my preference, though, and I was kind of a, I was kind of the uh, gunslinger quarterback. I wasn't the, uh, the dual threat guy, we'll say, but I could definitely throw the ball a little bit, and so I absolutely love this grip right now. It's amazing. Called a junior, um, right there. The other one's a pee wee, right. Got these both at the same time. I've been working with the Pee Wee more because my little guy needs a Pee Wee size football right now. Uh, so anyway, this is pretty much straight out of the box. I'm gonna actually start throwing it around already, okay? It came pumped full of a bunch of air. I'm gonna leave a bunch of air in it because I want these seams to start uh, flattening out. All right, and a bunch of air, if you ever look at a kicking ball, Kicking ball looks like a balloon because they have so much air in them. That's going to allow this leather, the seams and all this leather to really take its form and stretch that thing out like we want. Okay, so play play with the ball, throw it around uh, a, just a decent amount. It might take a day. All right, step two is you got to get the Wilson tack bar. Okay, you can get it on Wilson's website, Amazon, whatever. All right, okay, this is a Wilson tack bar. So what we're going to do now, so let's say this was straight out of the box, I'd already played, we already kind of thrown it around a little bit, alright, now we're going to get the tack bar. You can scrub the brush on the tack bar and then brush the ball on, or you can actually, you know, just kind of rub it on there a little bit and then take the brush and just brush it all in, alright, now you're going to want to do that probably at least a couple of times. You can't overdo this though. So you don't want too much grip, you, you want just enough. So maybe one or two times. So this ball has, has already had the, uh, the Wilson tack bar on it. All right, the next step, I have used shoe polish on footballs quite a bit. All right, especially old ones, like really old ones. If you use shoe polish, um, the grip becomes amazing on old footballs. Now you have to redo it every two or three days, but it's like, wow, it's incredible. Um, so this brand right here I really like. It's uh, it's brown, you know, you can get whatever color you'd want. I do like the I do like the little brown tint that this one came up with. Um, so we're gonna take this and just with a just a rag, all right, we're gonna scrape some of this off and we're gonna apply it. I'm gonna show you kind of uh, how we're going to uh, apply that here. After you use the tack bar with the brush, and you get your one, two, or three coats on on the snoo ball that you've already kind of tossed around a little bit. Toss the ball around just a little bit more. Okay, you'll feel the the tack come off on your hands a little bit. That's fine. You're not going to absolutely love 
throwing this ball yet, but it's already going to be pretty good. All right. Whenever you hear that sound, you know you got some tack, right? It's pretty good. I mean, you could go play a game with that ball right there with just the wax or the tack bar, right? Um, but I'm looking for a little bit more. I'm looking for a little bit more, and that shoe polish, like I did to this one, is going to give us what we're looking for. So, uh, so toss it around a little bit after you use the tack bar, and then we're going to go to the shoe polish. So you can get whatever color you want. Want this is a good brand right here. So I'm just going to get, you know, just get a good amount there, and I'm just going to start smearing it. All right, start smearing it, smearing it, smearing it. All right. Now, once we uh, once we start working it in, we we want to get in there really deep. All right. So I'm going to want to really massage. I want I want to end up really massaging it in like that. Okay. Now, um, if you see like right here, how how this part hadn't gotten between the dimples, I'm going to get this shoe polish in between the dimples. How these stripes are right here, like that will not actually rub out. Uh, I can't rub any of that out there, no matter how hard I how hard I push there. All right, I can't rub that out. See how that leather just soaks that shoe polish up. So we're gonna we're gonna go for you know this look here and those stripes, but we're gonna go for that look all over the ball, right? All right, so I've worked the shoe polish in as far as thickness and everything. Now I'm just gonna take like the clean part of the rag here and I'm gonna really massage that in really, really good, okay? So you can kind of see that circle that ends up right there. There, that's what we're looking for. We're not wanting to leave all this residue all over the place. We're gonna really massage that, massage that in there. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do it over that Wilson logo. We're gonna do it on the on the stripes there. The stripes are leather on these GSTs. It will make the stripes look a little dirty. It's not dirt though. It's uh, shoe polish. Football needs to look like that anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna smear this stuff all over the place. All right. It's all right if it gets on the laces, and it's okay if the tack bar gets on the laces. The, these laces are actually leather also. They're amazing. It's okay if both of these products gets on the laces. It's just fine. On the dimples on the ball, you'll see a lot of uh, college, NFL, whatever, uh, equipment guys, when they're breaking in balls, they want to grind the dimples off, kind of. I think that's terrible. The dimples allow that extra little grip for a quarterback. So this is why right when you get the ball out of the box, you throw it around a little bit, kick it around or whatever, and uh, now don't get it wet, but just kick it around, throw it around, and then it'll kind of grind a little bit of those dimples off anyway, all right? Any high spots, just doing that will take care of that. So um, leave the dimples. The dimples are, are amazing for throwing a football. Okay, so all four sides are done now. We're kind of, it kind of browned it up a little bit. I personally like a ball with a little color, so I don't like those dark brown balls anyway. These look cool, uh, and they're actually, in my opinion, function better to throw and catch. Now, immediately, I just got done with the shoe polish. Immediately, you start throwing it around here if you want. You can let it dry a little bit. <clears throat> You're not going to absolutely love the grip right when you start throwing this. Okay, put it in the in the wet grass a little bit or something, work it around. But once you start throwing it, you will actually uh, be able to feel a little bit of the tack come off on your hands. And uh, after after a little bit, this ball is going to be perfect. But it's not going to be perfect straight out of the straight off of the uh, shoe polish. All right, it'll it'll take just a, just a little bit. But once once you get just enough of that. Shoe polish cured in and that leather really softens up. Best grip and ball you'll ever throw. As far as maintaining uh, going forward after you get the grip perfect <clears throat> this first time. So, you know, the tack, the tack bar that goes on first, the Wilson tack bar, um, that should leave kind of an underlying tackiness to the football for a long time. The shoe polish uh, will kind of soften that leather up. Uh, 
and also in my opinion add some grip too, different kind of grip going forward just just experiment with what you know each ball is kind of different I think you'll be fine just adding shoe polish after this if you feel like the tackiness is kind of wearing off too much or you've used the ball a ton do it do one coat of a tack bar uh, so you you know you can kind of mix and match here I know with old 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 footballs uh, shoe polish really works well but at this stage you still use these same two products but just kind of mix and match however however you feel uh, works best for you uh, like I said you want to have the ball right when you get it out of the box if it's not really pumped up pretty good with air you want to pump that thing up really good while you throw it around the first couple days after you get to the stage of start putting the uh, Wilson tag bar wax on there and then the shoe polish you know suck a little air back out uh, so you can really see what, what the grips gonna end up like and you know that's kinda how you like to throw it anyway but anyway that's it thanks